Okay, let's see. Game 3. We're gonna have Night coming out here. Uh, as I walk started, I think this map is pretty darn nice. But I think it's also the fact that... Oh, it seems like we're gonna... Oh, we want the red light trick to allow the acrobat to come back. It's not bad. That's not a bad plan. It's considering the fact that Acrobat already has 20% uh, wax on him right now. 70, 80, 90, 100. This definitely can't hit right there, right over the window. And right after wax are this vaults this, it's all over. I think it's a little bit early. 30 seconds into the game and it's, a, and, and it's already a... It's already a, a, a hit. 10 seconds left until blink. Wow, this is pretty darn fast. No, that's teleport. Sorry, that's teleport. It's way too fast for this to become blink. Uh, but having teleport, I guess it wouldn't be too bad. But night with teleport as walk starters, it's not recommended. It's genuinely not recommended. Because, like, even though you could, even hypothetically speaking, right, you could, you know, land wax, get ahead early. But considering that this is going to be a 4-1 team, they know how to loop you through, through tight areas like this. So, like... You see, you see, just with that, just with that there, and of course an acrobat vaulting in immediately, you're not going to be able to do much, but it doesn't seem like acrobat, I seem like acrobat will receive 72% right there, but of course standing on his own fireball, it seems like the fireball has, the duration has ended, not an acrobat here, he should be able to have one last fireball is what we hope, but I guess it'll be an immediate down right here. Uh, tree cyphers currently at 80%, it's not too bad at the end of the day, including the fact that mercenary cypher is actually very close towards her uh, his own survivors but i guess our wax artist does not want to go for basement anymore considering the fact that wax artists kind of need a win here instead of a tie for their survivors to win against z soul but of course here we do see as well if they do decide to sell it's probably a much better option to play a little bit safer for the tie it's also considering the fact that you don't want a max present wax artist who can immediately just you know Get, uh, who can immediately down you after 100% of hot walks and then the basic attack hit but here it's better for patient to leave that cypher uh, permanently and let the mercenary do it instead cause I mean no actually patient that's that's a new cypher opened by patient never mind okay I thought that was a 90% cypher my bad my bad my bad but as we do see here as well the last three cyphers the last four cyphers is in this area that's not good at all if the last four cyphers is in this area then it means that wax artists can continuously lock these cyphers non-stop uh, but it seems like we're gonna have the embalmer as the laundry. Oh no, the last. Okay, no, no, never mind. I miss. Not, not misinterpreted, but I think I saw that wrong. I thought that four cipher was actually near middle, near the world tree instead. But apparently, it's actually at laundry instead. So, it, so I guess that's great and all. But here we do see Wax Artist has teleport, but also survivors have items except for the embalmer. The embalmer doesn't have anything, which is a little bit sad. But at least embalmer still has coffin for himself, so he doesn't need to wait waste time to look for to have his teammates come to rescue him. Now then teleporting straight towards the patient right here, as we do can see, Xiao V has tree hooks on his hands, puts down the pallet right there, but it's already at 79 right now. Decides to get an immediate hit. Of course, cancelling that hook right there. There's Xiao V, what were you thinking with that hook? What were you thinking with that hook? Of course, once again, what wax? That's two wax down. Bye bye. There goes the patient. And of course, the 48% cipher will not be decoded anymore. And even if Embalmer wants to come into decode, he's so far away. He's currently in laundry. What can you do? You're at the other corner of the map compared to Mercenary, who is actually inside the, uh, the hotel right now. Uh, go on, wanting to come in to rescue, but most likely this will become a failed rescue. See where the embalmer is. Embalmer's not even running towards the cipher, knowing that the cipher is not being decoded anymore. Knight is currently going to run back straight towards Li Hua, but even if we do get the rescue here, it's going to be after half because this patient's progress is currently at 45%, which isn't as good as what we thought it would be. Ah, uh, Shelby, 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 you could, you either could have hooked immediately straight away, or you don't hook at all. You don't hook at all, you don't wait until you're at 90% wax and get cancelled like that. And then of course, you have, uh, the, uh, not the first officer, the mercenary coming come to rescue would definitely be the most wisest choice right here. The cipher progress is currently at 74%, so at least this can still become a tie for the survivors. But here it really just depends on the end of the day, getting the rescue right there. And of course, hot wax is going to go down soon as well. What really matters here is mercenary getting rescued, but the cipher machine is not primed. Cyber Machine is not primed. Are we gonna have Patient come in to rescue once again? But even if Patient comes in to rescue, no, never mind. It doesn't seem like we're gonna get an immediate pop here. But there is still a teleport on the night side. Survivors should have known there's there's whoa 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 oh no. 
Ah, oh, what was the hook? What was the hook? That was a little bit too high. That was a little bit too high right there, patience. That was a little bit too high. Now then getting the elimination. This will become a three-man elimination here from CT Nightside. If he's able to get a four-man elimination here, I think there's a possible chance that we can move on towards extra rounds. If he gets a four-man elimination here, we could potentially go on to extra rounds. Because game one, DM got a five-man elimination and survivors got a tie. Ah, no, no, no. That is not good at all, though. But here, as we do see as well, Knight trying to locate for where the Embalmer is. Embalmer currently running back towards the... I mean, as long as they can get the one-man escape, that's really all what it matters right here. As long as they can get the one-man escape. But of course, here we do see as well, getting the rescue on the mercenary. Mercy has to run towards the gate and open the gate for himself. That's what's going to matter here the most. But of course, we do see that Embalmer is trying to run towards the gate as well. But sees where the wax is. Probably can uh, deduce where the wax artist is. And then with 47 seconds left on the clock. As long as Embalmer can, you know, not contain but just loop around here for a little bit. Because it's highly unlike, it's, it's really unlikely for Embalmer to be able to do much right here. But as we do see here as well, there is no coffin. There is, no, there is a coffin. I thought he was not going to use it was what I mean. But of course, 7 seconds left on teleport that is not a good sign for the survivor side at all this could potentially be a four-man elimination let's see here 14 seconds left on the clock the self rescue will be coming in right here and of course teleporting on towards Li Hua as we do see here as well oh no no this oh I thought this was near dungeon I genuinely thought this was near dungeon but does, does Mercy know where Dungeon is? The survivors definitely know where Dungeon is. They definitely do know where Dungeon is. It's highly unlikely that they don't know where Dungeon is. Probably, the problem here with Mercy is he doesn't have any items on his hand. So he needs to go and look for items right here. But uh, Mercenary is currently stuck at the back right now. But at least he still has teammates to tell him where the whereabouts of our Wax Artist. Ooh, no, 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 no. That is not good. Uh, Mercy needs to be able to somehow go towards the back of he needs to go look for an item first if he doesn't have an item there's no chance no shot he's going for the dungeon he needs an item first and foremost but it doesn't seem like that'll be happening anytime soon as we do see here as well the dungeon isn't near this area mercenary should have crouched there a little bit instead of coming out walking and then seeing where knight is as well probably will be playing the mind games here and there but mercenary already running seems like they're gonna both meet up right here it does seem like they're gonna both meet up right here. And of course, Mercy trying to dodge as much wax as possible here. It's really just a patient hook. Patient had two hooks right here, and he messed up. He messed both hooks up. He had two hooks on his hands. He met he had three hooks initially, messed up the first one by attack animation cancel. And then messed up the second one. Because he went on a pole. A man is like, wow. And of course, Mercenary getting the hot wax right there. Seems like we'll be getting another 360 down. Another 360 down. There is no dungeon here, so moving on to our second half. Okay, let's see. X Chen coming in right here. They banned his photographer, surprisingly. They banned his photographer. It's unsurprising. You're once probably first photographer in CN server. But anyways, uh, X Chen coming in with a sculptor instead. So it does seem like the team comp is Seer Acrobat, female dancer, and a forward. That's not recommended for a sculptor to come out here. Maybe a forward, yes, you can, but Seer, no. 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 No, no. I don't think Seer can, considering a lot of matches which I've been seeing, like Sculptor can land chips because all like all professional players know how to dodge the chips because of all the games they play, of course. But here as we can see chasing forwards better the better choice out here, considering that you don't have you don't have vaulting buff, you don't have uh, you know you don't have um your flywheel and you only have your ball and then you exhausting fifty percent of your ball, but you don't even create that much distance. This is why forward is not really that meta anymore. It's really just with the fact that knee jerk reflex is a thing right now and you don't have your palace speed boost anymore and we do see here as well You probably need to get rid of that palette first 
Probably be getting rid of that pilot first ma matters the most, but sadly unable to get a chip right there on towards the forward. The slow music box is here definitely hurt the most, but he needs to get rid of it. If he doesn't get rid of it, then it's really just a GG well play game over for X Chen right here. X Chen needs to at least get a tie for them to go towards extra rounds, which is the biggest problem right here, as we do see as well. But knowing with a serious probably will decides not to change targets towards the seer anymore. Still wanting to look for the forward, and of course, can't put the ball right here going. Yeah, we're gonna exhaust until there's only 10% ball remaining. Mm, yeah, you see, that's just the thing. That's just the thing. It's really easy to dodge statues. You just have to move away from it. Especially with the fact that, like, when it comes to dodging statues, it's really just up to, you know, if you can see whether the sculptor's in her animation or not. But as we do see here as well, it's only one hitch, but of course, two minutes into the game already. And another slow music box here, as we do see here as well. The forward still did not get any chips, but still does have 10% ball remaining. But getting the pushback there a little bit really does help out a lot. Then I'm wanting to go through, but it's sadly, it does seem like we'll be getting a little bit of pushback, but did not get a pallet down. And of course, Terror Shocking down. Still has Blink on Sculptor's hand. For the survivors here, if they want to play it more safe to go towards extra rounds, yes, we could sell for a tie here. But of course, we're only missing one last cipher. But but only the forward has. Yeah, it's only the forward. It's really just only the forward that has tied right here. And of course, Sculptor grasps the fact that only forward has tied. So even if they do want to come in to rescue, it's going to be really risky. It's genuinely speaking going to be really risky. As long as Female Dancer comes in here slowly to. To, to, to rescue that's all what it matters if i was the sculptor i would i would have just hit a female dancer i genuinely either either you hit female dancer there or you use your body to block her way towards the chair and then use the statues to camp those are your only two best options there instead of using your statues like that in a situation like that but of course see hi uh puts the pallet down but still get chips right there it's a little bit fortunate on the sculptor side but of course it's a max present sculptor right now and our last cipher is currently at 36 percent surprisingly acrobat is gonna come in here to rescue as well the seer can take as much chips as he wants you, you see the thing with this is this now right is that seer seer's at full health if eve if seer takes chips then that means sculptor doesn't, can't, doesn't have anything left to camp with so at the end of the day, even if you go out to look for Seer and try chip him down, it wouldn't be necessarily worth it considering you still need chips as well for endgame. But we do see two survivors here just to guarantee their rescue here. Uh, but the problem is they have to be able to body block this somehow because if they don't, it's really just game over. Uh, they're trying to install as much chair time as possible, but you do have to rescue right here. Of course, getting the rescue, which is very nicely done. There's no point in you staying here anymore, putting the pallet right down as well. Female Dancer definitely has to go. Acrobat and stay here just because of the fact that he has items on his hands then a female dancer and the forward cannot stay here forward cannot stay here he genuinely speaking cannot stay here a uh, female dancer staying like four has to run back you see Ford here has to run back after four run backs acrobat does not land that but the pop was a really good pop at least as well as much as i want to say then a female dancer at a very bad area right here as we do see as well four man endgame right here there's a huge chance for survivor to get a four man a three man escape but getting the chip immediately on the female dancer isn't really gonna do much considering the four chip down and you don't even have four years two sets of statues ready just yet then it sees where the female dancer is the other gate has not been opened just yet but female dancer successfully dodging those and of course getting her own movement speed buff when, when dropping uh, off from a height of course dancing away from the gala right now should be able to vault over this window and if the blink is forced out that's all what it matters right here but it does seem like the blink will be missed it's gonna be a failed blink right here and of course decides to vault over instead once again still gets the chip but you know what that does not matter it seems like this will become a three man escape. I think uh, we're moving on towards extra rounds. We are moving on towards extra rounds. Uh, Sally XN could have got a tie right here, but I will see you in the extra rounds. Moving on.